Okay, so today is Saturday. It's it's about to be 5.30 in a couple minutes. But I kind of wanted to get this clip out just to uh, start the, the video. But I'm about to go do a long run right now. I have 14 miles this morning at an easy pace. So I'm going to go do that. And then uh, I'll check back in in a little bit. But... I kind of wanted to just make this video today more so like an update because I know that I haven't posted in, in a couple days and I kind of want to just keep y'all up to date with everything that's going on but uh, also get some footage out but yeah like I said I got 14 miles this morning uh, relatively easy and I'm gonna meet up with this group right now so I'm gonna go do that and then I'll check back in in a little bit. Alright, so as you guys saw, I finished up my 14 miles this morning. It was right at right under 7.30 pace and like I mentioned earlier, it's, it's supposed to be an easy long run today and it felt really easy. I'm really happy with, with the turnout today, but I did close my last mile at 5.50 just because I, I usually like to close a little bit quicker, so uh, yeah, that run is done and like I said, it, it feels really good. I'm really glad with it. and. Now I'm actually headed home, but I want to go a little bit more into detail as far as a lot of things, but I'll talk about that more when I get home, just because I don't really want to record anything right now, but I'll check back in once I get home. Alright, so I'm home now, just sitting in the car, but I, I wanted to kind of go more into detail as to things that I've been thinking about but as far as like what I want to do with this channel I know that I I've been posting a lot of minimalism type of videos and and I love doing that but there's only so much I can make with that that I feel very limited to what I what I want to film and I do a lot more than just that and I still practice that but I don't really have much to film about that but I have a lot of other things that I enjoy doing, like, so I, I kind of want to start making more running content, just because it's it's a big part of my life, and, and I feel like it could be helpful to a lot of people, and I know that I, I never mentioned uh, really much about it, as, as far as, like, going into detail, but I am running a marathon, and I'm 12 weeks out from that right now, as of today, uh, today is the, the 6th. So I kind of want to just do like a weekly video as far as like what my training looks like and and uh, where I'm currently at right now with that and kind of just lead up to the marathon and try to give maybe some insight as to what goes into doing a marathon and uh, maybe share some things that I've learned because I, I, I'm always learning and I obviously don't know everything about it but I I did I do have a coach so I, I've been learning a lot as far as training and having certain workouts that need to be done but uh, I want to do that at least uh, leading up until the marathon and and obviously share what I what I can learn and hopefully it it's helpful to whoever watches it but like I said today was uh, my Saturday long run and this week was a down week so mileage was cut back uh, like 25% of my weekly mileage so that's done with and next week I'm picking up the miles again and I'll be doing anywhere from like 50 to 60 miles I'm, I'm aiming for like 55 to 60 so that will gradually go up a little bit more as uh I get closer to marathon and then obviously pick back down but I've uh, been training for that since like a month ago so you know a little over 16 weeks to prep for the marathon and I feel really good from where I started a month ago so I'm really excited for that and I have certain goals that I want to hit and I think 
I think it's all, all doable just with training and sleeping and eating. Uh, I know that my sleep hasn't been the best lately just because I, I've been pretty busy with a lot of things. So I'm trying to really work on that. And yeah, I uh, want to start doing that. So I will probably be doing a lot more running workout type of content and just tips that I can share with you, whatever I end up learning and maybe things that I uh, do to stay injury free as possible and nutrition and stuff like that. But I hope that you guys uh, don't mind that. And, and if you guys have any, uh, anything you guys want to see in specific to that, feel free to leave a comment and I'll, I'll try to go into detail about that. So yeah. All right, so this is a post-run meal. It's uh, it's pretty simple, honestly. It's just simple carbs and a little bit of protein from the ham. <clears throat> I'm gonna eat this right now. I know that the lens is getting a little bit foggy, so I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna uh, go into more detail about some, th some things that I kinda wanna talk about, so yeah. All right, uh, update. It's uh, a little bit over 2 p.m. right now, and I got some errands done. Took the dogs out, and honestly, I'm pretty tired. I didn't, I didn't get much sleep last night. I think I got right under like right about five hours. So I'm, I'm like struggling to stay up right now. I was, I was falling asleep, but I'm like, I gotta get up and I gotta go. I gotta go train. So I'm gonna go train right now. Um, I don't really know, like, I like before I'm not sure what I'm doing but I, I do feel like doing like some legs and maybe some deadlifts I don't know why but it's always post long runs when I feel like doing legs uh, I'm not sure how it's gonna go but like I said because I, I feel pretty tired like I, I was gonna take a nap but uh, it's not time to nap right now so I'm gonna go train and I will definitely not record anything in the gym because it's there's people there and I get awkward when there's people there so I will check in after that all right I am checking in again I just got done with the workout and it honestly went pretty good like uh, the leg exercise that I did and the deadlifts I did felt fine I don't do like regular conventional deadlifts I do them on that uh like hex bar type of thing. I'm not sure what it's called, but I did that and uh, just did some accessories and stuff like that. But overall, really, really good workout. I, I mean, coming into it, I was honestly pretty tired just with just not sleeping enough and getting this early morning run this morning really drained me and I'm still pretty tired, but I was able to push through and really hit some some decently good numbers today for for the strength that I have but let's say it's it was a good workout but um yeah I'm actually gonna head home now and just uh probably make something to eat because I'm a little bit hungry again I really haven't ate that much today other than what I ate earlier I'm sure I'll be posting it in this video but I ate that and I had some grapes maybe a couple hours later but uh not much today I just really haven't been that hungry today I just it's weird, I just kind of need sleep, so I might take a nap, I don't know. But I'm gonna head home and then I don't know if I'm gonna do really anything else today other than like just do a little bit of house chores and uh, maybe go over some other stuff, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright, so since it's kind of raining a little bit right now, I thought I'd go more into detail as far as me getting a coach and why I decided to get a coach so one of the reasons that I really wanted to get a coach was just to have structured days as far as having when to do easy days and when to do specific type workout runs as far as like speed work or fart legs or just different types of things and, and I've been learning a lot and there's a lot of really good runners in that in that group so I'm able to push myself 
more than I would if I was just running alone. And I know that for a fact. So um, I just like being around people who are better than me at, at, at things. And, and it just really pushes me to just, you know, push myself harder. So that's honestly one of the big reasons. But also as far as like trying to see how I can improve with a coach because my last marathon I did was the Austin Marathon and I ended up finishing in two hours and 54 minutes and that was with like maybe a month of of training because I was injured prior to that and had got back into it and just had maybe like a little bit over a month to really train for that and I had some things that happened that you know made it difficult but I I was content with with the time and, and I really want to push myself more to really get a better time than that you know ideally aiming for anywhere like sub 250 would be would be really good or sub 245 it, it, it all just depends where I'm at uh, when I get closer to the race but it's still 12 weeks it seems not that close but at the same time it seems like it's just right around the corner so I'm excited for that and and I'm still training uh weightlifting kind of a little bit less I think I'll start doing it as uh the time gets closer but uh, as of right now I still go in the evenings as often as I can usually five maybe six times a week and and do some strength work I feel like it helps a lot today like I mentioned I had a really good workout and I did a little bit of a foam roll on the back because my back felt tight and I honestly don't really stretch lower body uh, just because I feel like when so I was stretching before and whenever we'd have to do speed work I felt too loose but now that I really haven't been stretching that much I I feel a lot more explosive if that makes sense I, I'll still foam roll the the calves or if something feels tight I'll I'll stretch it out but if I feel fine like I I just keep it to simple foam rolling and use the massage gun on it but that's that's honestly pretty much all I do for that and and I've I've been noticing some differences so I'll, I'll just keep doing that and um, seeing how it goes but I'm really at a good place right now with with training I'm trying to be on top of all of that, I know that my sleep hasn't been the best, like I mentioned earlier, and my nutrition really hasn't been uh, the best sometimes as far as like getting in enough calories or whatever the reason may be, but I am working on a lot of things, and like I mentioned, this week has just been super busy, the week prior has been super busy, and I just, I was getting home really late from work, and going in really early and I just felt really overwhelmed with not even overwhelmed but I just didn't have enough time to pick up the camera because I was just focused on other things um, but I I'm really looking forward to film this like I said I, I want to make like I, I know I'm repeating myself but I want to make a series leading up to the marathon and then maybe get like some marathon footage if I can get someone to record some stuff for me but I I really want to film this really for myself so I can look back on and that the previous video that I filmed I, I really enjoyed filming that honestly and and I just <laughs> look forward to picking up the camera when I do that sort of thing not that the other stuff that I filmed prior I didn't enjoy I, I did mention that I, I do enjoy filming that stuff but it's just not something that I want the channel to be really on if that makes sense I, I kind of want it want it to be more so running content just because I, I run a lot and I can film sort of series and, and things like that and like I said if you guys want to see anything in specific or have any questions feel free to leave a comment and I'll respond and yeah that's that's pretty much all I have right now the rain has stopped so I'm gonna go inside and I'll check back in a little bit later all right so I am just hanging out right now I'm actually with the dogs outside and kind of doing their own thing but this is pretty much the end of the vlog and I'm probably missing a lot of things that I didn't mention and 
I'm sure it'll come up eventually, but I don't really remember it off the top of my head right now. But um, still, it, it's been a pretty busy day, honestly, and I have a couple more things I need to take care of, but I need to, to let them out for a little bit just to burn off some energy. But yeah, I hope that this video was somewhat informative as to where uh, the lack of content has been and moving forward as far as what the channel what I want it to be and uh, yeah like I said if you guys have any suggestions feel free to leave them and I will consider them so see you guys in the next video